Hi friends, my name is Ramesh and you are watching the How to Master YouTube channel. In this today's video, I am going to be covering a topic which is called How to Save Passwords in Google Chrome. This is a very easy topic and I will cover it in just 10 to 15, 10 to 15 minutes and it will be a very easy topic. I will give you the review of a software which is called Roboform Password Manager. Okay, So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, you have to download the software i have given the link in the description so go there and download the file after downloading the file you have to install the file the download i am not going to show the downloading procedure because you have uh, is downloaded it and it is a very easy step to download the file so i'm not going to show it after downloading the file you have to open it and now i'm going to show you the installation process so if you don't like the installation process then go to the description and I have given a time step so you have, you have to click on that time step and you will be advanced to the installation pro sorry into the main procedure of the RoboForm password manager okay so if you want to see then you, have to, you can follow, my, uh, follow the on screen instructions so first of all you have to click on here show advanced option then click next and then but don't uncheck any of these options and then click next and then also then click in install and it will now install you uh, the all of the applications and it will ask you for the to close the application so you have to close it you have to click close and then it will be closed okay so now roboform setup is installing and when the roboform will be installed so this will be the new interface so here you have to, two options create a free account or log in with an existing account so i'm logging in because I have already created an account so I'm typing in then click next and enter your password Okay, so after writing the password, it will connect to the server and then it will check your information. If your information will be correct, then it will connect and it will do it for the 100%. And now the RoboForm installer is you now installing. And in here, the RoboForm will also open and then it will install the uh, software in your RoboForm. Sorry. So here you will see in a dialog box like this and then you have to click enable extension and now it is enabled okay so now let's go to the main software you have to type for roboform editor you have to click on roboform editor not on roboform when you will click on the roboform editor then you will see the interface something like this now here you have many of the options i will explain the important options in detail and some other options which are not important I will tell them by not in detail but I will tell you in a very easy way so here you have to okay so here you have to come here and now you have to click on first logins now these are all of their logins that I have saved in here so I will tell you about in detail how to save a login next you have bookmarks you have the applications you don't have to click any of the options when uh, you have to click on identities and in identities you will see two identities Muhammad Ramesh Abbas and the Rumes. I will tell you how to configure a new identity you have to click on the plus button and you have to give your name I'm giving it Bilal okay I have given Bilal and I am sent uh, searching the country Pakistan here is my country now you have to uh, click OK and the Bilal is now created now here you have to click and then you have to click on this plus button now here you have all of the F, uh, so of all of the things that I have to show you in detail. Okay, so this is the person. Uh, now this is the all of your information, your title, your name, job title, your uh, phone numbers, your email, Yahoo ID, AOL name, Skype ID, your gender, your birth date, your age, and your birthplace, where you were born text ID, personal ID, driving license, all of these things in this uh, person detail. So you have to 
read all of these things and after that I will show you how to use these things first of all you have to use all just like the personal you will be, you will see this business you have to also uh, fill up and fill all in all these forms next is the password you have to type all of the password passport requirements the passport type number the issue place the issue date the expiration date and etc etc you will give here your address in this option then you will give your credit card details in this option so that when you have to load your credit card you, you don't have to uh, type the it's you don't have to select the card type you just have to uh, select all of these options in here and then you simply have to tap the one button and then anything will be that you have to enter in that form will be in uh, entered automatically so after giving the credit card you will see the bank account section in here you have to type all of these information so like so you have to type your name the number the routing number the bank branch the bank phone, all of these things and you are ready to go next is your car your plate number, your make, model, year, VAN, and note. The note you can type anything here. The authentication. Authentication means that for your favorite user ID, your favorite password, password question, and password answer. In the custom, you don't have to use this because this is not related to you. Okay. After writing all of these options, now I will tell you how to use these options. So next thing is contacts. The contacts is same to the identities but there is minor differences like i'm going to show you now okay so i have written this double g and now open it now here you will see personal all of the things that i have already told you there will be some difference like these boxes but don't panic these are same ident these are identical identical to the identity the identities mean that your id but the contact mean that the other person for example my identity I am my identity and you are my contact like so okay so here to here you have to type the business the information your address and you're ready to go these are the safe notes in here you can write any of the notes next all the all means that it will show you all of the things okay so these are in then uh, other sections like so and the bookmarks are and uh, separate from here but in all you will see the logins the identities the contacts etc etc the safe notes so this was the basic interface and the basic review of this RoboForm editor now go now you have to go to the browser and see what the browser options are so the first option in the browser is this option okay now here you ha I am uh, one thing you should have noticed that I have not told you about the logins because here there is uh, an option to instance insert the logins but it will ask you that you have to go to the browser and you have to do the logins from the browser so I am now in the browser and now I have to open the such website which needs the login requirements okay so for example i'm entering into the freelancer.com okay so in here there is already but i have to remove these like so i have to click here and click and okay so now this is nothing now here you have to type the username and password after writing this you have to click on this RoboForm editor button click logins click new and now it will open up like this. Now here you have to select logins, not the bookmark. You have to, after selecting the login, click save. Now your login is saved. I, uh, you can see, as you can see here, freelancer. This is the URL. This is the username, and the password will be here like this. So I'm closing this now. Okay. So now see the magic. What happens when I Open the freelancer in from the RoboForm. You have to click here, click logins, and click freelancer. Now, when I will click on the freelancer, it will automatically sign me in, and, and then I'll be here like this. Now, here you just 
Okay, as you can see that these forms are automatically filled. The remains live with the username and the CD password, and then you just say simply click on the login and it will be in. You will be in due to this. And as you can saw that as you saw that how simple it is to automatically save the forms and etc etc. Now let me get uh, take you to the Facebook. Now here you can see I have to fill all these forms, but what I will do, I have to click here, click logins. Sorry, I have to click on here, click here, and you have to just simple click on the fill form. When you click on the fill form, as you can see, I have just click on the fill form and it filled the form. Now, let me tell you uh, about the next thing. Okay, this is the below. When you click on the below, it will say it will track this. Now, if I have if I had entered I should have entered the password and the username then it that will be, that should be automatically will be it should that will be written like this as this below is written okay and just like the birthday the female and male section also if I have to fill and submit then I have to click in here click here and sorry I have to click here, click here, and fill and submit. When I will click on this, then and then we will click OK. Then uh, it will take if it if this all of these requirements are filled, then your account will be created without even writing your username and password or anything. Okay. So as you can saw, I hope that you like this video on how to save password in Google Chrome. If you like this video, then please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment me on the comment section below if you have any questions. Also, subscribe my channel and don't forget to press on the bell icon because it will get you notified when I upload new videos. So, thanks for watching this video again. I'll catch you in the next video.